this shot. He's got a fly in his mouth. All right. All right, leaving the Airbnb. So sad, I gotta start hiking again. Try to get as many miles as I, as I can. Trail days and then they have this running event. We run event. Pretty cool. Lots of people signed up. They were asking us to sign up as well. Yeah, I can just, oh, you got little babies too. Got a goose with babies and then right behind this tree is a big woodpecker. Oh, there he is. Kind of see him right there, kind of creeping up. Hi, it's okay. Hate to see all your babies get washed away. Just came across these two guys playing the, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm sure they'll tell me later on. Yeah, it's sick. Wow, yeah, that's pretty good. Hear it in the background, and then you get this. Oh. That's sick. Uh, I am so bad now. Oh, I know. And we're recording. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty out here. <laughs> so happy you came out. I'm not leaving. Got butterflies in our pictures. So I was going through the POW. Camp. This is the marine one. And I found Robert W. Gray. Crazy. So that would have been my dad's side somewhere. Oh, look. Well, that's interesting because that's a Coast Guard. His name got on this one as well. Maybe he was a Coast Guard and a marine. See, I saw a couple. Let's see if uh, we can find his name over here. I don't know how they uh, sexed it. It doesn't look like they're in alphabetical order or anything, but. No, nope. no. Yeah, Coast Guard and Marine. Get a video. Oh, with the This is exactly how she should be feeling. Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry, we'll see each other soon. <laughs> Got more paint on, ready to go. <laughs> right across the street, we'll see if we play Frogger here. Leaving Damascus, I made it. Can't believe I made it out of Damascus. It's, uh, a lot of times it's a uh, nice vortex here. So I was there since Tuesday, so I was there quite a bit of time. <sighs> it's always tough. Uh, Leaving the wife, so, so yeah. Um, I'm glad she uh, made it down, surprising me like she did. Super happy to spend a little bit of Damascus with her. Um, I think our next time we'll reunite is uh, New Yorkish, so it's about a month and a half. We're about a, it's been about a month in a week. Yeah, so it was about, it's going to be about the same amount of time. So that's nice. Um, and obviously, straight up, I know it looks flat, but straight up out of Damascus again. Whew. So, um, we got some views coming up. I'm going to only do like 10 miles. It's 3 o'clock right now. So I really don't have that much time to put in a lot of miles without night hiking. I don't really want to do that today. So because I got to set up this new tent in the dark. 
But uh, I did already set it up once and then went back to where I bought it from and uh, sort of got a little bit of guidance on a few things that weren't in the video. But uh, lighthearted gear, got the dragonfly. We'll see uh, how it goes for the, the trail out here. I think it'll be uh, perfect, to tell you. So just got out of Damascus and this is pretty much the terrain we got going on here. So not too shabby, making some good time. I got five miles in so far and now I'm gonna basically just keep walking until uh, I run out of sunlight or right before like I mentioned earlier, I got to make sure that I got some sunlight to pop this tent up. But uh, at the same time, the tent was pretty easy to set up. Um, I don't think I'll have any issues, issues setting the tent up. Um, but just wanted to show you the train. There's not very many views right now. It's just basically, well, you know, unless you consider those views. I kind of do. Be. First uh, good water source. And uh, it's always nice just to kind of see a flowing waterway here. Yeah. Nice. Keep on moving. This looks fairly new. A great view. Came up on the road gap and everybody's asking if I want some food or yeah, so nice. Yeah, wow, what a beautiful uh, bridge we got here. It is some cool work on it. I like the round poles. Amazing views here. I believe the creeper trail kind of took me through all this as well. Just the sound coming off of it's great. Yeah. It's cool to see it from above. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's see here. That is the creeper trail. So uh, we did the creeper trail, I believe it was um, Thursday. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, what was I gonna say, I'm gonna say about it? Um, so it's kind of neat to be able to be on trail and then look over and say that I've done that other trail right next to us as well. It was all downhill, so it wasn't really anything too difficult. But uh, where is this trail today? It's uh, moving around it pretty quick, fairly easily. Um, hopefully uh, Virginia will be kind of that way most of the time. All right, we got a nice little spring here coming out. Let's get pretty uh, deep over here for there to be a bridge. Sweet. Coming right off the caramel. Oh yeah, got some new shoes. So uh, we need to change out shoes about every uh, 400, 500 miles. And my wife was coming down, so she just brought me a pair of shoes. I think I had, oh man, where am I at about now? About 450 on these, so yeah, it was about time. You can definitely feel a difference on like the rocks and everything else too. So um, I've already bought all of my shoes for the year. 
just so that I know that I've got the same pairs of shoes throughout the whole hike. And I will be getting those sent to me every 500 miles. Yeah. I'll show you my first, uh, well, it's kind of my second. The other one was uh, water, but yeah, I get to come down these uh, little steps about, oh, I'd say four feet up to come back down on this little ledge. It's really cool. All right, um, yeah, it's gonna be a short day today, so eight and a half miles to the outskirts of Damascus, and then uh, I've done about 10. So solder shelter it is. I was gonna kind of try to move past here, but um, well, yeah, it's about 6.30ish, and I don't know. We'll see when we get to this shelter, if I'm gonna, maybe I just need a break. But not being on trail for a week kind of is tiring me out here. So we are pretty much done for the day. I'm going to set up my tent and then get situated and kind of, you know, figure everything out that I've got to do. I'll make my dinner and maybe try to go to bed early today. I've uh, been going to sleep around midnight and waking up. It's still seven o'clock, one, you know, so midnight one. So I'm only getting like six hours of sleep, if that. Um, so let's go in here and uh, relax and we will um, try to get miles in, uh, make up these miles. It's only 10 miles, so uh, um, where are we at here with mileage, so about 50 miles to where we need to go and i can really do that in two days if i really wanted to uh, the train's pretty easy and just i think maybe just because i all i really need to do is stop and eat and i think i'd be pretty good but uh um we'll have an earlier start tomorrow and uh, we'll get about 20 20 plus tomorrow in You know, maybe it's just because it's what I'm used to doing. But uh, I got to shelter. I said I was staying when I got there. But uh, I get there and I'm like, no, I'm going to make my dinner like I normally do. And walk out another two miles. Um, so that'll make it about 8 o'clock. We'll still have sunlight. Set up tent. I did make my dinner, so right after my tent set up, I'll be able to eat. So, yeah, man, the views are beautiful. Let me uh, flip a switch here. Whew. It is all uphill though, coming out of that shelter. <laughs> Should have looked first, but uh, two and a half miles. And uh, I might even stop if I see like a stealth campsite at the top of this. Uh, But, yeah, we got a great day coming out of here. I'm so happy to, pretty much all day, Shelly and I were walking around Damascus and seeing all the shops. And um, I took her to the shop that I bought a bunch of stuff and sent in, sent her stuff. And uh, she bought a bunch of stuff there too. It was just really affordable trinkets so um they got the right idea that's for sure all right almost to the campsite look at that old sign it's great there's uh that's the way to the parking lot if we need to get out there's like a little stealth campsite back there but um, I am pretty close to where I'm supposed to be. We'll see if uh, it's occupied or there's too many people there. Um, if not, I'm gonna set up camp. This was the tent site I was gonna do. There's a pond and everything. But uh, 
It's another one about a half mile. Okay, we'll see uh, if there's anything in between or. Yeah, it's cool. We'll see if there's anything in between or. Uh, it said there was about four available campsites, tent sites at the other one, so at least it'll be better than this one where there's literally just one available. So. All right, didn't have to go that far. And I uh, found, a, found a pretty decent flat spot here. Gonna set up camp. Oh yeah, got a new uh, jolly gear. So I'm gonna see how long this thing rolls. It's supposed to be a sun hoodie. But there is this like swampy marsh. If it was hotter out, I there would be probably no way just that I would be able to sleep here because the bugs would just be crazy. But there's no bugs, so we're going to make this our site today. I don't know why I'm being so, like, not so indecisive, I guess would be the good word for it. But, um, yeah, I just kind of decided, no, it's a little bit too marshy. And uh, it's only 0.3 away, and I don't have any service here either, so... Um, I really want to have some service for the night. Let me um, check this. I literally just walked up on another site. They're all over the place. So, oh, there might actually be some spots left here. Let's go check them out. <laughs> 